Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 5. Um, so I've been like you know putting uh, Jojo reactions 3 day back to back. Uh, again unfortunately I'll have to stop for 4 days and after 4 days I'll again put out 3 reactions back to back. Uh, like you know uh, 3 successful days, successive days. So I'm going to kind of go like this uh, until and unless we completely cover 12 episodes. So this like, you know, this is the best way I can see like I can continue this because these few days I won't be able to put out any Jojo episodes. So it'll be like this three, three days back to back and then four days gap. So yeah, anyways, I wanted you guys to know this. So, okay. So the previous episode, um, we are in the middle of the battle, uh, uh Jongali A he has started attacking us his uh stand is something which we are still not sure what it actually does it is uh, a stand which is uh, helps him snipe but at the same time it seems like we're in an illusion now uh, we still don't know what is actually happening which is the like you know what the illusion is actually about is this like an additional um you know function to the stand that he has or is this completely something different we don't know so I'm sure we're going to get to know in this episode. Uh, Jotaro is out. Jolene is also out. Uh, Jolene is trying to wake Jotaro up, but unfortunately she cannot. And everything is kind of getting messed up. So yeah, let's see what happens, how this episode goes, and how Jolene is able to um, use her stand to get out of this mess. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number five of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Stone Ocean. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, opening. okay so this is the third episode that we are getting like you know third episode isn't it like we're getting jongali a yeah so i'm guessing this probably will be the final episode we get with jongali a so hopefully like you know she's able to uh, jolene is able to do something about him in this episode because i don't think it will extend more than three parts like you know like jojo kind of does this Two episodes or three episodes kind of focused on one character one enemy not more than that unless and until it's a bigger enemy you know like maybe some mid boss or final boss <laughs> then it takes on more more than three parts All right. Oh, oh no, the, the chair broke. Okay, he, he's awake, that's good. Yep. So. Yeah, so what is this stand actually? All right. Nice, let's get out. What? Is this a dream? Is this a dream? I think it's a dream. Jo Jotaro is having this dream. Yeah. So this is Jota's dream.
or yeah, there you go. Wake up. There you go. Nice. Okay, wait. Which was it? She unable to do. Okay. 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 Hmm. Both of them intelligent, so it was easy for them to get out. <laughs> yes. Oh, true. Oh. Okay. Yeah, she cannot materialize it. No, okay. All right. Oh, what's he trying to do? Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jota, that's your daughter. My god, well, it worked, I guess, so... <laughs> yeah. My god, wow, that was a interesting way to get out. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, there you go. Karate job. What's with the police officers? Where are they? Oh, wait, what? I said, oh, maybe it's... Oh, no, maybe John Galia do some... Okay. Well, now the I mean, uh... Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, the thing is, we actually lost it once, so... <laughs> okay. Wait, so... What stand is this? Isn't this Jongali A stand? Then... Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, he already has a submarine ready or something? Alright, there you go. Um What is that?
20 meter away from the spot. Whoa, oh my god. Ugh, that scared me. Um, something is wrong. Whoa, what? Wait, what's happening? Wait. What? Is this another dream or something? No, wait, what's happening? Um, oh, okay. Jotaro? Um... Well, this guy is awkward, we always all, already knew that, but still. So he did that, at that time I was... Okay. Yeah, sh she's like... Um Okay. All right, okay, that was um Is that a prison card? Who is that? Wait, what? You don't see the thing is broken? Like, what is wrong with you? Oh no! Okay, <laughs> okay, I understood this guy is... Alright, I was like, why was he not... Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Is this a stand or is this Jongalier? It's Jongalier. There you go. Okay. Great. Oh no. Here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there's multiple bullets. M not much time. Oh. So there's two point people. Okay. Um Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Whoa. Oh my god. Does it take a stand abilities for themselves? Like steel stand or something? Oh my god. Oh. 
Okay, this is a problem. No, wait. What happened to Jotaro? Oh, the stand is like a personification of the soul or something. So, I guess that's why. My god. Wait. Wait, what? You, you don't realize that? Yeah, two enemies. Okay. Transmitter, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Uh. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh Oh no oh wait what Whoa My god Oh Yo this girl <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Reported before sentencing. And yeah, I don't. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. Jotar would have stopped time and stopped you. White snake. All right. That's it. Oh, he also saw that dream. Wait, what? I don't... Ugh. I don't know that he's dead. Like, obviously his stand is with... Oh, God. Wait, you need to get back Jotaro's stand first.
Oh no, before that we need to stop the blood. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's right. Yeah, yeah, she needs to do that first, then the stand. Oh my god. Okay, there it is. All right. We need some medical. Oh no. Wait, what is happening? I think, I think you need to get his stand back. I don't know. Oh my god, what? Wait! Wait, what? Oh, he, she, she. Yeah. <coughs> oh, then But Oh Wait, so he's been here from the beginning Af From after his birth Emporio Okay, okay, there you go My god Okay, so Jongali is co no. Oh my God, Lord. <coughs> T 
CTG Oh, obviously he won't do it. He's going to kill you now. Yeah, there you go. But like, it's obvious he was going to do this. <sighs> oh wait he also has a jota okay all right that's the end whoa um okay so i don't know if this guy this sludge guy if he is going to be the main villain or is he one of the smaller villains but if he's one of the main villains, like by main, I'm talking about the main boss. For example, in part five, it was Diablo. Uh, that type of a main villain I'm talking about. In part four, it was Kira. So if this guy is a main villain, then it will probably be like, you know, the whole part six will be Jolene trying to getting back Jotaro's stand. And in the end, probably she'll succeed. That is going to go in that way. If he's one of the smaller villains, then she'll probably be able to get his stand back a bit quicker. Uh, you know, then the end of the sh uh, part. But I feel like this guy is the main villain because, like, this is like one of the biggest reasons that Jolene can stay in this prison. You know, because his her dad's uh, like, you know, is in this uh, predicament. That's why she'll probably stay here, try to track down the person, meet a lot of other you know like enemies, a lot of other friends, and by the end of it, she'll probably be able to get uh the information on who this guy is this such guy is and how to get uh jotaro stand back i think this guy is the main villain but i might be wrong my god this this really kind of uh, like i don't know like i've always like you know like we've been seeing jojo for quite a while and it's always like you know there's always this type of a uh, what can i say um feeling that yeah jotaro he won't die you know like he won't die this is jotaro we're talking about and like you know like he's one of the main jojos even though like you know like uh <clears throat> uh jonathan died you know in part one uh from part two onwards all the you know main jo stars were kind of okay because joseph was okay um then jotaro was okay like you know he's still alive jo, like you know uh, and then josuke he's fine um jono is fine so you know like all the other characters most of the other characters kind of die in jojo but the main guy he somehow like you know is always keeps alive and obviously that's why and jotaro always seemed like this type of a uh what do you call it indestructible or you know like invincible character like yeah this is jotaro we're talking about he has the time like you know stand to uh, control time he won't die this type of like i don't know why but i always had this type of a thing in my mind so suddenly like you know like this episode kind of made me like you know a little bit concerned i was like wait a minute is he really going to die or something because <laughs> jojo kills people that's pretty sure so like that's why i, I was a bit concerned but hopefully he'll will be he'll be fine jolene will be able to bring him back so we'll have to wait and see okay one thing i act one thing i actually noticed in um the sludge guy uh not the sludge guy but his stand his stand it is written ctg ctg and then there's a triangle ctg triangle no i think it's an a um i actually uh, started remembering my um science lessons where i think c t uh, g and a are actually pairs of polysaccharides or something just a sec c t g a it's in dna as far as i remember just a second uh 
It's been a while. Yeah, nucleic ac uh, acid sequence. AC and GT. Um, ACGT. Yeah, four uh, types of bases found in a DNA molecule. Adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Uh, so let's see. GT and uh, if that's a triangle, I'm not sure, but if that's an A, it kind of matches, you know, G, A, and C, T. Like the way it pairs or something. So <laughs> I don't know. It's probably something related to DNA. <laughs> it's just something that I, you know, kind of noticed. I might be completely wrong though, but this certain sequence kind of makes, uh, reminded me of DNA, you know, the sequence. And um, yeah. Anyways, okay, so. <clears throat> All right, so this episode here. Now we get to know here that there are two people, uh, which I kind of thought in the previous episode, but like there was also part of me which was telling me, like, no, the main thing that I thought in the previous episode was that Jongali Ace stand is uh, the melting stand. But there's also part of me that told me that maybe this is a separate guy, you know, separate guy or a separate girl who is. Um, who has his power because Jongali A is kind of sniping, that's his power, stand power, using the little thing, that's his stand. So the illusion thing that the other stand is doing, the dream thing, that's probably some other stand. I kind of thought it in the previous episode but I wasn't quite sure but here in this episode it is made quite clear. And obviously, as we know, there cannot be two stand with uh, in one person. So yeah. Now we also see what jo Jotaro was dreaming. Jotaro was also kind of dreaming the same thing, and then he, you know, he sees that he's able to get out of that because obviously he's intelligent. <laughs> Joe star blood in him, so. <clears throat> He's able to, like, you know, realize that what's going on. He snaps out of it, and in a way, I guess Jolene kind of snaps him out of it because, you know, she was able to use her um, stand to wake him up. <laughs> I love the way Jotaro actually decided to get out of this room. He just punched jo Jolene. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I'm not sure if this is a dream or if this is the real thing. So let me just use one stone to kill two birds. Let me just punch Jolene and <laughs> if if Jolene actually screams in pain, I'll be able to realize that, yeah, this is not a dream. This is reality. And at the same time, I can just, you know, like shove her out of this room. So yeah, <laughs> let's just do it. And she just punches Jolene. <laughs> not Jolene, but his, her stand. <laughs> oh my God. And... okay so yeah and they get out of that whole situation uh, that not situation but that room mm. now again here um like always like we always you know, knew that jotaro is awkward kind of all the time you know he's always kind of keeps quiet and the whole thing of you know them just a sec yeah, um, the whole thing of whether he cares about Jolene or not, that thing. Um, I always like you know thought that yeah, most probably you know all the time that Jolene, like you know thought that yeah, my dad doesn't actually care about me. That's probably a misunderstanding because all this time we have seen Jotaro being involved in quite a lot of things which are related to sand battles and all the other stuff. Now obviously, um. I'm sure she wanted to go and, uh, you know, meet Jolene whenever she was in trouble. For example, that uh, prison incident or when, as she said, when she was ill and, uh, you know, with fever. Um, I'm, I'm sure Jolto, Jotaro probably wanted to go, but maybe he was like, you know, like involved in something completely different, something more like, you know, like, what do you call it? More dangerous or something like that. Like, I remember, like, you know, that flashback kind of showed us when Jotaro's mom, uh, Jolene's mom was calling Jotaro and she was like, oh, you're going, you're going to back to Tokyo, like, at this time. 
um probably like you know jotaro got some call about some kind of stand or some kind of like you know the arrow or something he got some call and he had to just rush in there and you know try to like you know do whatever to stop that situation now one thing i can very much easily understand from this is that neither the mom nor jolene had any idea that jotaro is involved in these type of Mm, you know super mm, what do you call it this type of weird situation bizarre situations which is related to stand power and all these stuffs so and i i think jotaro probably did not want to involve them not until it was necessary and i'm i think maybe the mom still doesn't know about this he had to give jolene the stand ability because he knew that he she would be targeted in this prison and that's why she he gave her this like you know the arrow and the standability so that she can protect herself otherwise if this whole situation didn't even happen i doubt jotaro would actually try to involve jolene in these type of stand like you know like these situations she he wouldn't do that since it was necessary because he knew that yeah probably like you know someone's going to target her because she is one of the jo stars especially in a prison where she'll be vulnerable he did that and um that and also like you know decided to come this time himself because this really needed his like, you know supervision and yeah that was basically most probably the situation because as i said in the previous episode jotaro cares about family we've already already seen that he doesn't actually show it in his face but he does care the whole thing with his mom and all the other stuff as we saw so yeah it's just that he's awkward so <laughs> like what can you do and um yeah like like here like they try to get out of this like you know like jotaro says that okay we're going to get out of this place um you know there's a window we need to get out from there there'll be a submarine and they are going jolene trips that scene was really weird i have to say i was not understanding what the hell was happening because first of all for a moment i thought is this a dream like they go jolene trips she falls and jotaro like jotaro's like you know it seems like she's he's trying to hold her hand but he doesn't he just like you know takes his hand back and i'm like wait what is happening here and then he he brings like you know jolene when he puts out his hand and jolene is like oh uh, like you know jolene blushes and she's like oh thank you like <laughs> she's like trying to grab his hand and get up <laughs> jotaro is like no i'm not trying to grab your hand i'm trying to give you this you know this pendant <laughs> like for a moment i thought if this like is a dream or something i'm like what's happening here it's so awkward and then i realized it's not a dream it's just jotaro being awkward and <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure he had the best intentions in his mind at that moment you know because he wanted to keep that pendant safe and that pendant in itself was something that would protect jolene you know and it was something that he wanted to like you know like give jolene to keep it with herself so that you know it can help her out of the situation in case something goes wrong you know the whole gps thing transmitter thing and the whole submarine thing so if something happens to him he he kind of made that preparation for it that's why the pendant was there and he wanted like you know to keep the pendant safe and wanted to give jolene that but unfortunately <coughs> <coughs> jolene misunderstood it and i don't blame her because i think anyone would have misunderstood that situation and <laughs> like you know like especially people who don't know that jotaro is kind of like this a little bit awkward and like already jolene has like a negative impression of his of her dad so yeah she kind of snaps she's like oh like you never cared for me you're always like you know like you know on your own and this pendant is more precious to you blah 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 and she's like yeah this pendant is so precious keep it to yourself now <clears throat> Now that's that's what happens, and then like you know the whole stand battle again starts. Jongali A um, comes in with the thing, 
and okay and here's when we actually realize that there are two stands one is jongali a one is the other one and jotaro realizes that yeah the actual target was me from the beginning and you know the opponent knew that jotaro would actually try to save jolene and to do that he himself will be vulnerable and that's what the you know um enemy is targeting for and to get whatever <coughs> um you know ability he has now i think the sludge guy his ability is something related to as we saw taking out something from a person now one thing i kind of realized here later on now that i'm seeing it again there are actually two cds not one but two cd that kind of like you know like comes out of jotaro one most probably has his stand another as we see in the end has his face on it i'm not sure what that is but it's probably something that is integral for jotaro's you know like uh like you know keeping his individuality or something like that like so it's probably something like that it he it, it's divided into two cds so yeah that's one thing mm. okay now here's where everything starts getting so much interesting the way jolene actually uses her um stand is just amazing now okay where is it okay yeah um you know jotaro gives her the transmitter he says everything to jolene and all that stuff you know like he says that i always cared for you and the submarine will come to you then jongali a comes in here's when the fun starts i love the way jolene started using her techniques uh, you know her stand and like you know like from the comments i like you know like i i kind of knew like you know that she is going to use her stand in such a unique way um josuke always always did that um jono kind of did that as well and i think jolene probably used it in a same manner which is so interesting her stand kind of like you know in in from the outside it looks like it's just you know strings like you can just hear stuff stuff from the distance it's a little strong and if you use it in a, like in a close combat situation you can fight it just seems like that but the way she uses it here is impressive i have to say <laughs> first of all she uses a string to direct the bullet somewhere completely different and as the bullets come out this it kind of like you know goes along the strings direction and the string kind of you know changes the direction of the bullets <laughs> and it doesn't hit that's number one number two when jongali tries to shoot her she uses the string to start spinning him and he misses completely my god that was like you know at that moment of time the way she used her intelligence was so un you know so so amazing and then obviously jungle tries to use her his own trick tries to shoot the stand and you know the bullet tries to redirect it towards jolene but jolene you kind of realized that you know from the beginning he just punched him and like you know stopped him at that moment so yeah that was fantastic <clears throat> and Jolene tries to go out now here's the part where I really was starting to get concerned about Jotaro I was like oh my god is he really going to die like is this really happening like but there was still a part of me that kind of like you know knew that no he's not dead because because his stand you know in a CD is with someone else and that in itself kind of gave me a little hope that yeah maybe maybe stuff like you know he can be brought back and turns out i am correct hopefully because um jolene says that yeah like most probably like i feel that dad will come back as soon as i <coughs> bring the um, you know cd back to him uh the standability back to him and yeah i think that's also was probably going to happen because i was a little bit concerned because only the standability with, was with him 
as as I understood at the beginning, but later in the end, I saw that there are two CDs. One is the stand, and another one had his like, you know, Jotaro's face in it. So now I'm pretty much cons uh, like you know sure that yeah, like bringing those two CDs back will probably bring Jotaro back all as well. But there's one thing I'm a little bit concerned is that his body. What's going to happen to his body? As the I'm um, think Emporio, I think that was his name. The kid. As he said that you know like it's it's a body like it's obviously going to rot and you know like it's going to decay what will you do about that i'm still not sure what jolene decide like you know plans on doing with that like you know like because jotaro's body is losing blood it's obviously going to like you know start rotting quickly soon enough and even if she brings back the stand and you know the others the two cds if the body is gone, what will he do? What will she even do? You know, like, what's she going to do with the CDs? That's one thing I'm a little bit concerned. Hopefully, like, you know, jo jo Jolene is intelligent. I'm, I think, I hope that she has some kind of idea what to do with that. And, you know, like, if... I don't know, like, maybe if the Speedwagon, like, you know, Foundation were able to get jotaro's body you know maybe they could like you know keep him in liquid nitrogen or something like that you know like preserve his body for the future and uh, like it could do something but here in the middle of the prison with no one to take care of the body like what's she even going to do with that so unless and until it's kept in liquid nitrogen or something like that i don't think the body will survive so and uh, like you know like and i think this whole like you know this thing like taking the stand back will probably take a lot of days like you know if he, if she if Jolene is able to um you know to get his her his her dad's stand back within one or two days it'll be fine but i doubt that's going to happen because this guy seems like the main boss so and if he's the main boss then yeah it'll probably take the whole season so uh, like you know like by that time jotaro's body will be gone so I'm not sure what she's going to do with that. Um, hopefully we'll get an answer. But yeah, that was that. Uh, Jolene comes back, you know, surrenders. And, you know, that was like the correct decision, obviously, because Jolene wants to get back Jotaro's stand. Emporio says that, uh, why didn't you run away? Now, here's one thing that's also interesting me about Emporio. Why is she concerned about Jolene? Like, I understand, like, you know, like she has, uh, uh, Emporio has you know gone through the same thing you know this the sludge guy i'm still not they did not mention his name you know the sludge stand um it killed you know his mom all that stuff i can understand but why is like you know like why is Emporio helping jolene like what is the connection like did he just like see jolene and he was like oh like this girl he she's probably in the same situation like me and empathized with jolene is that why he's helping her or is there a bigger reason that i still don't know um hopefully we'll get to know that as well but <clears throat> yeah we get to need, know his story you know so he has been born here um born in the prison okay and the mom died but he's been born here and uh but i'm still not i think he has probably some kind of a stand power i'm not sure about that still but if he's like a normal kid then it doesn't make sense how he's able to stay in the prison and no one actually catches him so i'm sure he has some kind of stand ability which actually you know helps her him stay here and no one actually gets to know that but yeah anyways that was that <clears throat> Then we get to the next scene, Jongali A and the sludge guy. You know, Jongali A is like, oh, help me get in. The sludge guy shoots him, and that was obvious because, you know, like, <clears throat> as he said, like, yeah, I don't want anyone getting to know my identity and whatever, you know, so yeah. And this will also probably be, this will also probably be something like a mystery where we're going to, you know, like, meet with a lot of people here, but we won't know who this guy is. And there'll always be like a mystery unless and until it's, you know, like we get to know who this sludge guy is. There'll always be, it, it's probably going to go in a fashion similar to Diablo, you know, like when we never knew Diablo be, at the beginning, <clears throat> there was this whole like, you know, shadow guy 
<laughs> who was the boss and then as time went on we actually got to know his identity it'll probably be something like that so who knows but yeah and in the end we see the two discs and that was it so yeah that was it so that was it guys that was my reaction to jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean episode number five this episode really made me concerned about jotaro but i'm sure he'll be fine so yeah so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed as i said i'll be putting out the next episode reaction after four days um and again then again like you know uh two more episodes success in the successful days like three episodes four days gap three episodes four days gap that's how i'll do it uh, until 12 episodes end so <clears throat> yeah and comment down below um if you are new to this channel uh and if you haven't oh no sorry um what i'm even saying comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to uh let me know if i have like you know misunderstood stuff or something you can know, like call like you know rectify me but like you know no spoilers so yeah and uh, yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh with the next episode of jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean after four days so until then goodbye and have a nice day